everybody. So I'm working on my second art print for my art class. I can show you what I'm working with. This is what I have so far. Let me tell you the way that I was actually just like stressing so hard in my head of trying to figure out literally how the layers would work. Like it's so confusing to me. Um, I think I got it. I think I understand, but it's also just like, damn. Um, so I have to carve out the entire background essentially. So yeah, wish me luck. Today I am finishing up my lino print. So this is the reduction that I'm working with right now and I'm struggling, um, but it's okay. So here's what I have. There we go. That's what it's supposed to look like. I actually printed upside down on the other one. Um, this is, I have one layer left to do, but yeah, I'm going to carve the rest of the darkest shade and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. I'm hoping to Handed in a little bit less panicked because um, last time I was very ah so this time I'll be ah so it's six eighteen and I finished I submitted my assignment this is the final print I feel like a real adult right now um, essentially I'm stranded at a gas station and I just think that this is so like hashtag aesthetic and cute of me. Um, Look at this. I have real life oil stains on my hand because I had to pop the trunk and check the oil. Isn't that, isn't that so novel? Don't worry, I'm, we're calling CAA, so it's okay. They're being sent to my location. <laughs> we made it into a friend's car. <laughs> like having a day where you literally just don't want to do anything that is me right now um is it because i haven't taken my meds yet probably but also yesterday was a very 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 long day for me hi <laughs> oh, i don't want to know what i'm doing hi <laughs> who's in right next to me hi arden so I've done a few things today. I swept and I did the litter box. 
Um, but I've decided to do a little creativity moment because I'm really burnt out. I honestly don't think I have it in me to do any schoolwork. Um, I literally just keep, don't feel like I cannot do anything, so I'm just gonna make something instead and hope for the best. Um, I've had this project in my mind for a very, very long time, and I have been wanting to do it for like literally forever, um, but I've just never got around to it, so let me show you what the plan is. So. Anyways, I have these pants, and I picked them up at the Collective Closet near um, my school. I don't know if they're still running TPH. Um, they're a little bit worn down, but I think that I can kind of judge them up. This is also just like an experiment, because I don't wear these pants. Um, and if it goes successfully, I'm going to do the same thing to these jeans, um, and then keep them, because I, I want them. So here's what I have made. I have these little lino cut stars that I made, lino print stars. I'm just going to use them as like little stamps and hope that it turns out good. To be fully transparent with you guys, my room is a mess right now. I have an essay for my midterm due in two days. I'm taking care of like a cat and a hedgehog. Um, and let me show you what my desk looks like. I actually cannot use my desk because it broke. This little compartment broke and so like I literally cannot store Everything that was stored in here is now stored on there. And um, I just don't have it in me to reorganize everything. I did reorganize a few of my drawers and stuff. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't have it in me and that's okay. That's okay today, we're fine. So uh, today we're gonna do a little arts and craft instead and see how she goes. So I have a setup here on my little desk got this ink from the local art store and they said that I just need to wait for it to dry completely before throwing it in the wash. Paint thing that I got from my house, my Emma, little roller, and then I also have a wooden roller to put pressure on if I want to. closet and now has shit all over. Arden, you have dust on your face. Look at her. She's so noble. Oh. While we're waiting for that to dry, I've decided to fix my rabbit tattoo um, because it's been a long time coming and I finally have the motivation to do it. Okay everybody, so obviously we've been through this process before, but I'm just going to you know, sanitize everything, put everything in saran wrap, make sure everything is a sterile environment, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I want to fill this in. I want to make this better. I want to make this outline better. Uh, make the details a little bit more clear. So that's that's essentially what we're doing today. I'm going to like you know, hydroseptic it, um, pour the ink in, and then once that's all done, I'm gonna start poking but I'm gonna turn this camera off because I wanna listen to my audiobook. So, sorry guys, I'll, I'll talk to y'all later. Oh my gosh, it matches the carpet. <laughs> Dude, Wait, that's can so you fun. Tell I like blue? That's so fun. <laughs> oh, so cute. Wow. Get the whole. Like, spin is fun. Wow. No, yes. you look so good. We are so formal are for so the formal. formal. Hell yeah. <laughs> Sunday morning. Today we are supposed to go to Costco. However, it's been quite cold over the past few days um, and the car did not start this morning. Yeah, the car is broken down. However, I called Angela. Shout out to my mask lesbian friends. Um, and they're coming down to bring their car and then we're going to attempt to jump start the car. Um, it's the first time either of us have jump started anything, so it's kind of romantic if you think about it. <laughs> Angela, what are you doing today? So today we're going to be jump starting Pauline using my car, Lady. Lady and Pauline. 
You're a long they, girl. Oh my gosh, no, they're actually girlfriends. Wait, let me show. <laughs> Are you coming to Costco with us? No. Are you just really here to help? Yes. I want to take a picture. Can you stand next to your car, please, with the jump cables? Okay, this is what it looks like. This actually means nothing to me. Like, I'm okay. literally searching up Kia Forte battery. Because, um, what the fuck am I looking at? That looks like a battery to me. Yeah. Because... Oh, there's a positive oh, there's and a negative positive. thing. Yeah, there you go. Amazing. <laughs> let's go. Look out, let's, let's figure go. it out. Let's go. One Just two psych one. majors. Hi everyone, so today, welcome to my video. We're gonna be teaching you how to jumpstart a car. So first things first, how to jumpstart a car, you need two things, okay? Well, three things. A jumper cable, your car that is dead, and another car that isn't dead. Oh, shit. So if you don't have one of those, you're fucked. You're absolutely fucked. Both cars should be in park mode. Not neutral, park. And your parking brake has to be up. Okay. Slay. And I gotta attach this one to the closet one. Where? <laughs> There's a metal bit. I think you just stick it on the metal bit that's sticking up. Okay, and then I gotta put this on the negative one, right? Okay. I have this. Yeah, that's dirty. Okay. <laughs> okay. Dry or not. So shut or not. Next, you're ready to turn off. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. Now. The light turned on. Okay. Now I gotta turn on my car. Okay. <gasps> no one move. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start my car. Okay, I'm gonna stand back. I gotta let it run for two minutes, apparently. Yeah. And then we start your car. Okay. <laughs> well, the, bad, the light turned on, which is good, I think. So, I forgot about the tutorial. Oh, it's after you have the three, the two cars, one's dead, one's alive, and a stick, and jumper cables, so you need four things. Um, you gotta connect the positive to the positive and the negative to like a metal, and then you start your car. Yeah, to ground it. To ground, to ground it. it. So you don't shock Yeah, because yourself. it's like conductivity. Yeah, there's some science behind it, but you know. That's magic. We're psych majors. Okay, it's been two minutes. Okay, you can start yours. How are you feeling on this moment? M moment of truth. Will Sharon's car start? Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> we jump started in a car! Okay, what now? Okay, now we have to like unbuckle everything. I'm so gonna Oh my god, that's actually crazy. I literally saw like the car like the I, like shake all, all the stuff underneath. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. what the fuck? How's it feel right now, Sharon? I feel victorious. We've done it. We've done the impossible. You know, the day started rough because Arden shat on my carpet. <laughs> I went out to the car, it was cold as hell, and the car didn't even start. But today I learned that gay people can do anything. Let's put the hood down. How do you feel, Angela? I feel so good. Thank you so much for all your help. Of course. Hi, everyone. Update. <laughs> Sharon's car started. Yippee! Yippee! Sharon's a boyfriend. <laughs> so boyfriend. Hey, vlog. Today is a very exciting day because it's Jerry's birthday. So, yeah, very exciting. We have a party that we're going to host later, but first we have to do schoolwork because we're academics. The other reason why today is exciting is because it's week 11, 
which means I have like, I have five classes left, and then I'm done. That's nuts. That's actually nuts. Of my entire undergrad. Ah! Birthday girl! <laughs> HBD! <laughs> HBD! <laughs> Is it cute? I love it! Oh my god! Wait, that's actually so cute! <laughs> Made it to Melody's. Here's what we have. Oh, there's Melody. Here's our stash. Oh, the cake that we are going to decorate. We oh, got right. it from Metro because we can't bake cakes. That's a lot better. My mind. Like you're, you're my mind. Look. That's a lot better. Look, everybody. Oh. <laughs> Midnight, I just finished playing D&D and I was printing the whole time. Essentially, I have a final assignment for my art class. I'm trying to finish it up before I have to actually grind on like other final assignments. Um, and I started like 10 days like super early, which I'm very proud of myself for doing. So I finally printed them out in the positioning that I want them to be in. We're doing a diptych, so there's two pieces on one piece of paper. This is the first piece. Literally so satisfying um, to have them all lean out like this. Like, I'm so excited. I only need four. I printed eight. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I printed eight. Printed eight, um, just in case, because I, I know I'm going to mess up. I have to do a reduction print the next one. Um, and that shit's hard. So, I also don't have the needles or whatever you're supposed to use. So, I'm just literally just raw dogging it. I carved this today. This is the reduction. So, it's a little bunny with wings. There's going to be like f four colors, five colors. Um, so this is just the first, this is gonna be white and then all these shades of pink and red. But as I was carving this, I realized, and also printing this, I realized, you know, I actually really enjoy this art thing. Like specifically lino cut as a practice, I love how intentional it is and and especially with like the reductions i love how like you can't recreate it once it's already done like once you carve it you can't uncarve it and so you just need to accept the imperfections and i'm i love that i love how like each of the prints show up differently even though it should technically be the same they all have their own like little unique things it's also so satisfying to just like carve things and like to see what it looks like upon the first print. Like there's so many parts of the process that I just genuinely enjoy. And yeah, that was something I was thinking about and discovering. So I was like, wow, that's really nice that I like that. And I'm really happy that I get to like experience that, you know? I have an Easter thing happening. I made a roast. Um, I actually, and it's, I literally just finished making it. I had to make it, it was quite frantic, but it's okay. But look, she's like tucked into my little, little car here. Um, yeah, I'm going to drive to my friend's house. It's literally three minutes away. So I'm frantic and that's okay. I know that things take time, but then I'm just like, I forget that they take time and that's annoys me.
sale today. It's our last art sale today. <laughs> I'm wearing a hat. That's a wrap on the art sale. Look at my box. That's of money. a wrap. That's a wrap. She got hella bag. It is officially it is April second, meaning the last day of school. Not the last day of sales. The last week of school is upon us. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> We're working. We are like so close to being done this fucking thing. We hate this. We hate it so bad. Last week, I'm feeling like I want to cry. Yeah. Um, mentally, I am in Cuba already. Same. So I don't want to be here. I don't want to work. Feeling um, burnt out, sad, um, confused, horny, angry, depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Every emotion ever I am feeling. Um, that's all. Period. <laughs> I'm burnt out. Yeah. I forgot to submit an assignment two days ago. That's because so I forgot. awkward. You that's course. okay. I submitted it late and that's all. It's okay. Break time. Hello vlog. Today is a very exciting day because somebody is getting a stick and poke from me. Hey. Emma's very graciously allowing <laughs> me to experiment on her. Um, it's my first stick and poke on somebody else. Hooray. Oh my god, it is. Yeah. Oh my god. You're my first. Oh my god. Today. I'm honored. I'm honored. Fingers crossed. I'm okay. Honored. Yay. Period. Period. <laughs> hey guys. We're hanging out in Christian's room without Christian because <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> this is our domain. Yeah. This we is live here our now. domain. We live here. Wow. Oh my god. I look like Arden. <laughs> oh, okay, well, that's not right. Okay. <laughs> Arden! Hi! Yeah, yeah, my last It's our last yeah. class together. Another day, another sleigh. Today I'm going to be grinding on my paper that I have due in like three days. I have like three assignments left and then I'm literally done for the rest for the rest of my undergrad and it's actually kind of nuts. My friend just got broken up with so I'm, I literally just got home from like a cottage weekend. I had we went to bed at like 3 30 and then we woke up before 8. I had like three hours of sleep but it's okay. I'm gonna go buy ice cream and like fruit and like maybe flowers for her make her feel better so yeah i'm actually always nervous when i go to this grocery store because every time people are so mean to me um the lady was actually really nice i got flowers and then i got a bunch of like fruit and like ice cream and like frozen mangoes because she loves frozen mangoes um they, the lady wrapped them in all nice for me so i'm gonna go to her house now sherry's there already so yeah <music>
to submitting her final paper for her painting class. It's me, period. Shout out to Nathaniel for helping me and giving me the motivation to actually submit this shit because girl, girls, it was hard. But yeah, I'm. this is actually worth 50% of my grade and did I put in 50% effort? Yes. Thank, thank you, Lord. Sorry. My name is Sherry, and I am. Today is the day of my psych undergraduate thesis presentation, and I'd like to show you to my poster. This is my poster. over my assignment. It's good enough. It doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be good enough. My computer. Yeah, let's fucking go. I'm done with my undergraduate degree. That's crazy. I'm done. And just like that, our first degrees were finished. I can't believe it's been four years of my life, but life is what you make of it, and I think we've made something pretty special. With this chapter closed, I can safely say it's time for the next adventure. A new city, new apartment, and new ways to keep in touch with the people that I've met. Until then, thanks for watching. Love, Sharon.